given the three by three matrix A and we wanna find the matrix A transpose A minus two A. Let's do a little recap. First of all, first thing I'd like to recap is this idea of the transpose of, the matri of a matrix. So let's say we take a matrix B, which looks like A, B, C, D. Now, to get the transpose of B, what we're going to do is just interchange the roles of the rows and columns. So usually what I do is just circle the rows of B. Uh, these are going to become the columns of B transpose. So there we go. That's one way to think about the transpose operation. Um, another more geometric way of thinking about the transpose, you could imagine just drawing a line I'm going to draw a dotted line here through the main diagonal of your matrix and you can imagine reflecting your matrix in that main diagonal. So the entries on the diagonal will stay in place um, and the B and the C are going to change position here. So that's a little recap of the transpose of a matrix. Now the other idea that we should probably recap is the idea of matrix multiplication. So let's take a couple of 2 by 2 matrices here. And we'll make sure we're okay with performing this matrix multiplication. So matrix multiplication is defined in terms of the dot product. What we're doing is taking the various rows of the first matrix um, and forming some dot products with the columns of the second matrix. So I like to always circle the rows of the first matrix, circle the columns of the second matrix, um, and then we'll see how to build up this product here. So let's say we want to figure out the entry in this position right here. This entry is in the first row and it's in the second column. So that means we need to do the dot product of the first row with the second column. In other words, we need to do the calculation 1 times 6 plus 2 times negative 2. Just taking the dot product of this first row here with the second column. Alright, so that gives us a total of 2 and that's the entry that goes in this position here. Now normally when we're doing matrix multiplication what we do is we just use the first row here and we imagine stacking it on top of the various columns of the second matrix and performing those dot products. So normally we'd go 1 times negative 5 plus 2 times 1 gives us negative 3. And then we continue across the top row. We take this first row here. Now doing the dot product with the second column gives us 2. And now we're done with that first row. So we're going to now move down to the second row, this 3, 4. If we take the dot product of 3, 4 with this first column, we're going to have minus 15 plus 4 gives us negative 11. And then dot product of the second row with the second column is going to give us 18 um, plus negative 8 gives us 10. All right, so there we go. That's a little recap um, of both the transpose of the matrix and the idea of matrix multiplication. So let's start with our calculation. We're going to go A transpose A minus 2A. So if we like, we could circle the rows of our original matrix. Those are going to become the columns of A transpose. Okay, we'll just double check our copying here so that looks good. That's going to get multiplied by the original matrix A. And we then have to subtract off two times the original matrix A. Alright, so let's get going with our matrix multiplication. I'm going to circle the rows of the first matrix here and we can circle the columns of the second matrix. In doing this, uh, we just have to be a little bit careful 
that we can still read the entries. Uh, we have to be particularly careful about those negative signs there, so we'll just make sure everything's still legible. Hopefully that's okay. Um, and we'll now do some dot products. So starting with the first row, we're going to do dot products with the various columns here. So for our first entry, we're going to go 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 4 times 4. Um, often I'll just say to myself, that's 1 plus 4 plus 16. Or you could use a calculator if you prefer. So we're going to have 21 as our first dot product. Um, and then sticking with this first row and now doing the dot product with the second column, we've got minus 3 plus 2 plus 12. So that gives us 11. And then first row dotted with the third column, 6 minus 2 uh, plus 32. Okay, so that sounds like 36. So there we go, that's our top row completed. Now moving into the second row, we're going to take minus 3, 1, 3, and do the dot product with the various columns. All right, so that's going to give us 11, 19, and then 5. Um, I would suggest it might be a good idea just to double check your work maybe after each row. You can redo that calculation. Even if you're using a calculator, it's easy to key something in wrong. Um, so we'll just do a quick double check here. Okay, to me that all looks good. And then moving down to the bottom row, we're going to do 6 minus 1, 8 um, dot product with the various columns here. So that's going to give us 36, 5, and then finally 101. Okay, so that's our matrix multiplication completed. Now we still need to subtract off 2 times A. Um, and rather than leave this as minus two times this matrix here, I think I'm going to write plus the following matrix and actually bring that minus two in. So that factor of minus two, whenever we're doing scalar multiplication, we've got a number multiplied by a matrix, that factor is just going to come in and multiply each entry. Um, the reason I want to bring the negative 2 in is just because I think it reduces the chance of sign errors here. So being really careful about the signs, we're going to have minus 2, positive 6, minus 12, minus 4, minus 2, positive 2, minus 8, minus 6, and minus 16. So I'm just going to do a double check on the signs here. The only entries that should be positive in this matrix were the ones that were originally negative before. Okay, so just two of those entries there. That looks good. So now, finally, what we need to do is just our addition. So we can imagine superimposing these two matrices, just putting them on top of one another, um, and the entries that stack up on top of each other are going to get added together. So we're going to go 21 minus 2 gives us 19. 11 plus 6 gives us 17. Now we get 24, and filling in the rest of the matrix correspondingly, we'll have 7, 17, and 7. And then finally for the bottom row, 28, negative 1, and 85. And there we have our final answer.